Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India proceed to lecture number 31 which deals with chemical management system in natural dyeing. Chemical management system is a very popular practice among synthetic dyers, but now it needs to be managed even in the business of natural dyeing and it is now very important that we understand that chemical management system is equally required in natural dyeing. Chemical management in textile industry. The chemical management system of the textile industry is a process by which all matters relating to chemicals from purchase to removal of chemicals are taken up for safe application and management of chemicals in textiles and to prevent accidents. Now the time has come where you know chemical spills or chemical wastage or improper disposal of chemicals cannot be permitted. Hence there is a need and there is a tremendous demand for looking at chemical management system in textile industry in a very uh, concerted and in a very uh, you know important way. All re related preparations are taken from the chemical management department before the chemical vehicles enter the textile factory. Naturally the use of different types of dyes and chemicals are essential for textile industry chemical management system have been working to ensure safe storage, use and transportation of dyes and chemicals and to ensure a better environment, health and safety in compliance with the law. Because what we understand that chemicals if they are not managed, they can create havoc in the environment because their improper disposal misuse can create a lot of environmental impact and therefore it will be uh, having a negative impact on the environment, health and safety. Therefore, the chemical management system is a must for textile industry which is considered to be the most pollution generating industry. Now what is the purpose of chemical management system? Because unless and until we understand the importance, we will not be able to appreciate. Evaluation and use of safe and alternative chemicals should be given priority. All chemical related information such as material safety data sheet MSDS, TDS, labels, hazard symbols, symbols and certificate that is the RSL declaration letter APO free certificate must be collected from the manufacturer or supplier before it enters the chemical factory or the textile factory. Because these are what is going to control and manage what chemicals should be used, how much should be used, how they have to be preserved, how they have to be used, what are the precautions the workers need to do 
because this is not a laboratory scale dyeing that we are talking about. We are talking about industrial natural dyeing where bulks of components and chemicals are used. Employees need to increase their awareness and express their attitude through training or various topics examples such as MSDS, personal protective e equipment, PPE, safe use of chemicals etcetera. So, employees have to be trained and they have to be made aware that these things are important, one should read them carefully before handling any chemical whatsoever. Appropriate arrangements should be made for chemical waste. Reduce use, reuse and recycling opportunities should be used. All legal rules and regulations must be followed very strictly. So, if a chemical can be recovered, it should be recovered, it should be reused or recycled and that is how and what we are meaning by chemical management system. How this chemical management can be actually implemented in natural dyeing? Textile dyeing is no different, stringent and scrupulous ecological laws governing sustainability in dyeing sector bringing great changes the way fabric used to dye. Coloration technology with natural dye is embracing new ways and processes and auxiliaries to take over synthetic modules and detrimental chemicals. What we are trying to draw your attention is that whether it is synthetic dyeing, dye house, whether it is natural dye house. The general phenomena of chemical management holds good in both the cases. Then you will say anyway in chemical management why are we considering natural dyes because everything is safe, we are trying to aim at safe uh, moderns, we are trying to re reduce water, we are trying to reduce efficiency, um, e e energy efficiency and so on. But one should not forget that in co on commercial scale there is bulk dyeing happening. So, if 1 percent of alum or 2 percent of alum for a 10 kg fabric may be at a safer level, but when this is 1000 kg of uh, fabric, the magnitude of alum also increases and that is what needs to be you know managed. Many of the chemicals used in dyeing having different levels of health and physico chemical hazards, the risk of injury or ill health of everyone involved upon exposure at work depends on whether there is satisfactory safety involved in terms of ecologically benign procedures and material. First thing is that the workers have to be educated. Then the second thing is that these educated workers need to be you know prevented from any kind of exposure of any unsafe chemicals and materials. Chemical management process that ensures use of safer alternatives instead of harmful chemicals and proper compliance with safety environmental policy is a new approach paving its way in natural dyeing. Use of natural dyes and chemical management of that. Natural dye stuff of plant origin used as indigenous system can be developed scientifically and can be substituted for the chemical dyes. These indigenous dyes can be produced in large scale and could be prepared commercially and economically. There are companies which are now doing these extraction processes and very standardized 
dye extract powders are now commercially available. The practice of indigenous system for preparing dye stuff and the process of dyeing has been developed using modern technological methods. And we saw many of these methods that in the last lecture that have been developed particularly for natural dyeing. A revived interest in the use of natural dyes in textile coloration has been growing. And there is a pressing need for the availability of natural dye yielding plants. These dyes are collected from nature and no need to apply manufacturing process to prepare them. These dyes are easily decomposed in nature after using them and they do not pollute the environment while destroying them after you end use. They do not produce any undesired by product and at the same time they help in regenerating the environment. Therefore, natural dyes are the safe dyes. So, first and the foremost thing is that having opted for natural dyes, we still have to keep chemical management under control. We cannot you know say that okay, it is safe dye, so we need not worry, we can use any amount of modern, we can use any amount of water, we can use energy generously, no. There is a need for controlling the use of dyes and the auxiliaries in the most optimum manner and that is why I was emphasizing that a recipe not only gives consistent result, but also fixes the quantity of each of the component which go in natural dyeing. Why chemical management is important? Managing chemicals in natural dyeing processes is crucial for ensuring environmental sustainability, work safety and the production of high quality dyed products. Here is a comprehensive approach to a chemical management system in natural dyeing. Because if we have to understand why it is required, we should understand what are the comprehensive approaches for using the chemical management system in natural dyeing, which are the aspects that we should lay emphasis on. Selection of natural dyes. We should use and choose natural dyes that are environmentally friendly, non-toxic and sourced sustainably. Some commonly used natural dyes include indigo, madder, cochineal, turmeric, onion leaves, rheum emodi and many other such plants. Now, selecting them is a big criteria and that selection also is a part of chemical management system. Chemical inventory management, maintain a detailed inventory of all the chemicals used in the drying process, including moderns, modifier, pH adjusters and auxiliary chemicals. Keep track of quantities, expiration dates and safety data sheet for each of the chemical. Then only we can implement the chemical management system in the natural dyeing process. At every stage, chemical management is a must. Substitution of hazardous chemical. Substitute hazardous chemical with safer alternatives wherever possible. For example, replace toxic modernants like chrome or tin with safer options such as alum, iron or tannin. Chemical handling and storage. Ensure proper handling, storage and disposal of chemicals to minimize environmental contamination and health risk. Because unless and until 
we substitute all the hazardous chemical, this process of chemical management of natural dyeing will be incomplete. And also how they have to be handled, how they have to be stored is to be taught to the dyers, so that there is proper handling, storage and disposal of the chemicals to minimize the environmental spill or impact or contamination and the health of the workers is not at risk. Store chemicals in well ventilated areas away from heat, moisture and direct sunlight. Use appropriate personal protective equipment that is PPE when handling chemicals because that can prevent the worker from getting exposed directly to those hazardous chemicals if at all they have to be used. But as a general practice also wearing an apron, wearing goggles and wearing PPE is a must in any chemical industry and is a part of chemical management system. Water conservation and recycling. Implement water saving measures such as recycling dye baths, using closed loop system and retreating wastewater to reduce water consumption and minimum pollution. Because if you minimize the pollution, then the half the battle is run, one. And therefore, water being a scarce commodity at the current times and to in the times to come, one has to implement water saving measures. And the best way to do that is to recycle the dye baths using closed loop system and treating waste water also to reduce water consumption. pH monitor, monitor and control the pH levels of the dye bath to optimize color uptake and ensure dye stability. Use natural pH adjusters like vinegar or citric acid to avoid the use of harsh chemicals. So, you can see that pH control also is a very important factor in chemical management. Because if the pH levels of the dye bath are made optimized, color uptake will be better and that will also reflect on the stability of the dye molecule. Use natural pH adjusters like vinegar and citric acid rather than sodium hydroxide and HCl. The more the better is not always correct. So, energy efficiency, optimize energy usage by minimizing heat, heating and cooling requirements through insulation using energy efficient equipment and sh scheduling dyeing processes during off peak hours. Quality control, implement quality control measures to ensure consistent color matching dye penetration and color fastness. Conduct regular testing of dyed sample to assess color accuracy and durability. So, both energy efficiency is also a part indirectly of chemical management, although it is not a chemical, but eventually it is affecting the process and quality control. Implementing quality control means that there will be consistency. The myth that natural dye cannot give consistent result can also be actually removed by making a good consistent quality control. Training and education provide comprehensive training to dyeing personnel on chemical handling procedures, safety protocols and environmental regulations. Encourage continuous learning and awareness of sustainable practices. 
So, what it means that if we provide a comprehensive training to the workers, they will understand and be aware that what is doable and what, what are the don'ts and what are the do's of the dyeing procedure. And this has to be encouraged continuously, because awareness of sustainable practices are changing from time to time. Compliance and regulation, stay updated on local, national and international regulations pertaining to chemical use. Wastewater discharge and environmental protection ensure compliance with relevant laws and standards. So, one has to be very, very aware that these regulations are very stringent and there are local laws, there are national laws and there are international regulations and laws pertaining to chemicals use, wastewater discharge and environmental protection. And this, these have to be made aware to the dyers, otherwise this chemical management cannot be implemented in natural dyeing industry. Constant alertness is required, documentation and reporting, maintain detailed record of chemical usage, wastewater discharge safety inspection and any incidents or accidents. Prepare regular reports on chemical management practices and environmental performance for internal review and regulatory compliance. Continuous improvement, regularly review and evaluate the effectiveness of the chemical management system identify areas of improvement and implement corrective actions to enhance sustainability and efficiency. So, it is not that you know once it is done, there is a constant improvement that need to be taken into account and everything should be documented and reported. Then only when one maintains a detailed record of chemical usage wastewater discharge, safety inspections etcetera and an account of any incident untoward that has happened or accident, then one can take these reports on a regular basis for chemical management practices. By implementing a comprehensive chemical management system, natural dyeing operations can minimize environmental impact, ensure worker safety and produce high quality diet products that needs sustainability standards. There are several benefits if we practice chemical management. Implementing effective chemical management in natural dyeing offers several benefits and these include environmental sustainability. Proper chemical management reduces the environmental impact of dyeing processes by minimizing the use of hazardous chemicals, reducing water consumption and minimizing pollution of waterways and soil. So, if we are aware, if we do proper chemical management it definitely will reduce the environmental impact of the dyeing processes and will also minimize the use of chemicals which are hazardous. It will reduce water consumption and thereby there will be least amount of pollution in the water bodies and the soil. This will help preserve ecosystem and biodiversity. Health and safety, by substituting toxic chemicals with safer alternatives and implementing strict safety protocols, chemical management improves the health and safety of workers involved in the dyeing process. It reduces the risk of exposure to harmful substances, 
respiratory issues, skin irritation and other health hazards. Sustainable resource use. Natural dyeing emphasizes the use of renewable and biodegradable resources such as plant based dyes and natural fibers. Effective chemical management ensures that these resources are used efficiently reducing waste and promoting sustainable practices. So, it is as much important to focus on chemical management in the area of natural dyeing as much it is for synthetic dyeing. There are more benefits when we practice chemical management, product quality and performance. Proper chemical management contributes to the production of high quality dyed products with consistent color, excellent color fastness and minimal color bleeding or fading. This enhances the aesthetic appeal and durability of textiles increasing their market value and customer satisfaction. So, if we actually practice chemical management, we are in a way also contributing to the production of high quality dyed products, which is having consistent color, excellent color fastness, because all along we are checking the quality of the product and that the product is giving minimal color bleeding or fading. Now, for a dyed fabric, it is one of the major aspect that needs to be kept in mind that there should be no color bleeding or fading. This enhances the aesthetic appeal and durability of textiles, increasing their market value and customer satisfaction. So, eventually it is all boiling down to the fact that a good chemical management. So, eventually it means that a good chemical management is required for any good product that is coming out from the dye house. And customer satisfaction is the supreme factor which is to be taken into consideration. Compliance and reputation, adhering to environmental regulation and sustainable practices, it enhances the reputation of natural dyeing businesses. It demonstrates a commitment to ethical and responsible manufacturing practices, which can attract environmentally conscious consumer and business partners. So, in a way directly or indirectly it is affecting the reputation of that company and its product. And if they are a follower of all good practices, they can advertise that they have produced this eco friendly in an eco friendly manner which is an added advantage for their product, especially for environmentally conscious consumers. This holds good. Cost saving, efficient chemical management can lead to cost saving through reduced chemical usage, water and energy conservation, waste minimization and improved process efficiency. Over time, these savings contribute to the financial viability and long term sustainability of natural dyeing operations. So, in eventuality, it is a win win situation if efficient chemical management system is practiced thoroughly, carefully in natural dyeing industry. Because it will lead to cost saving through reduced chemical usage, water and energy and waste management is also minimized. So, 
there will be an improved process efficiency. Overall, there is going to be benefit from all angles, all the primary factors and therefore, it will be a sustainable process which will be through the natural dyeing operation. There are further benefits of practicing chemical management, innovation and differentiation, investing in research and development of eco-friendly dyeing techniques and sustainable chemical alternatives can spur innovation and differentiation in the market. Natural dyeing business that leads in sustainability and environmental stewardship can gain a competitive edge and access new market. So, what happens if I am into R and D, if I am investing in eco friendly dyeing techniques like developing newer techniques for water saving, for wa chemical saving, for auxiliary saving, then I make a name for myself as a company where people and consumers will fetch after the products made from that company because it would be an established fact that natural dyeing which is being practiced by this company has been done in a thorough chemical managed system practicing all the eco friendly practices and keeping the environmental impact as low as possible and making the process very sustainable. Community engagement engaging the local communities and stakeholders to promote sustainable practices and environmental awareness can foster positive relationships and goodwill. Chemical management practices that prioritize environmental protection and community well-being contribute to social responsibility and sustainable development. Because Unless and until we practice and protect the environment, we are not socially responsible per people. And unless and until we are not socially responsible, we cannot have a sustainable development. So, everything is linked up. Chemical management examples in natural dyeing process. That means, when we start looking at the natural dying process in a holistic manner, we have to start involving each step extraction, pretreatment, oblique mordanting and color fixing. These steps generally contain chemicals for extracting as mordanting agents and fixing agents. So, at every stage we are using some chemical or the other or some auxiliary. There are new ways which can be adopted for scaling down chemicals in these processes. So, can we get the same effectivity by using lesser amount of mordants or auxiliary? Natural dye process generally uses dyes, salts, surfactant, urea, soda ash, metal mordants and other auxiliaries. Several researchers are working on enzymatic treatment of cotton and wool fabric for improving softness and surface appearance for accelerating method of dyeing process for one bath method for enzymatic resizing scouring of cotton fabric and for decoloration and detoxification of textile dyes aspects with different enzymes specifically designed for carrying out one function only at a time. So, there are ways of you know kind of controlling the pro using enzymatic treatment. There are several methods by which one can control the enzymatic treatment of cotton and wool and improve the softness and surface appearance by using enzyme. 
The same enzyme can do the desizing and scouring of cotton and then it can decolorize and detoxify also the textile dyes which are remaining with a different set of enzymes and this can be done one function at a time only. Chemical management during extraction, can we do a management of these dyes extraction at the extraction process? Natural dyes are collected and then dried in order to make them size fit for extraction. Sun or shade drying of natural material significantly reduces the moisture from 40 to 75 percent making them fit for extraction vessel and increase colorant yield. Sometimes extraction of natural dyes involves various solvents. So, dye extracts in organic solvent pose risk of inhalation while working with them. Thus, in creating extraction a green process various approaches is being tried now. Extraction of green dyes can be carried out in several ways as percolation, acid base processes, supercritical fluid extraction, microwave in, um, assisted extraction, ultrasonication and so on. So, there we are not exposing unlike soxalate where the ethanol or the methanol is continuously heated. Although there is a condenser, but there is some loss of the solvent in terms of it fumes and that is can be avoided if we use some greener technologies for extraction. There are new and ecological, ecologically safe options to extract plant material to make dye powder or sometimes dye extract itself. These are also important ways to save chemicals use and leaching. Efficient extraction processes, some of the important ways to manage chemicals in extraction processes are enzyme extraction, where cellulose and pectinase, cellulase and pectinase in the ratio of 1 is to 2 has been used for extraction of colorants from pomegranate sea skin. Now, this we had discussed when we were discussing the enzyme extraction process. Ultrasound assisted extraction UAE colorant are extracted from supple wood shaving using sonicator and this example I had discussed supercritical fluid extraction SCFE, yellow colorant was extracted from eucalyptus bark using SCFE. Even tulsi leaves were extracted by SCFE and green extract very vibrant green extract was obtained. Microwave assisted extraction MAE, colorant from the plant called coleus atroperpis was extracted by using microwave assisted extraction. Now, can so there are several may, ways of extraction which are safer, which require lesser solvent and they can be adapted under the big chemical management system category. Then let us come to alternatives to moderns. Different natural dyes show different adherence in all three types of modenting and different metals or plant materials can be used for these reactions. The e ejection of massive volumes of wastewater containing heavy metal ions such as chromium 6, lead, cadmium, zinc and metal containing dyes are an unavoidable consequence because the textile and industry consumes large quantities of water and all these chemicals cannot be combined entirely with fiber during the dyeing processes of synthetic dyes. 
and some of them like chromium and copper have also been used as mordants in the area of natural dyeing. These high concentrations of metal chemicals in effluents interfere with the natural water resources causing severe toxicological implications on the environment with a dramatic impact on the human health. These impacts of chemicals can be reduced adopting safer alternatives as natural substitutes for metal mordant and fixers. So, one has to keep in mind that these hazardous metals like copper and chromium need to be replaced with safer, so that they can be managed. If at all they are used, they should be used in very small quantities, so that their runoff is also in low concentration. Biomordants replacing metal mordants and we have done extensive work. The dried food of Terminalia chebula constitute one of the most important vegetable tanning material and have been used in India for a long time. This fruit pericarp thus can be used as a raw material for natural dyeing. Oak galls are good examples of biomordant as they are rich in tannin and can be used for mordanting as well as tanning pretreatment step for cotton. They can also be used to get a brown color. Katachu or kach or katha obtained from the heartwood of acacia katachu is used to dye cotton, wool and silk to brown color directly. It is also rich in tannin and can be used to get black color with iron mordant. So, if from brown we want to shift then only we should use a mordant otherwise the katachu extract itself has inherent tannin which can do both the dyeing and the pre tanning step. Another biomodern pyrus pastia containing copper as intrinsic metal was used in the natural dyeing of Delonyx regia. Many pyrus and prunus species have been reported to contain copper such as pyrus domestica which contains 0.33 to 0.34 ppm of copper, prunus serotina which is the black cherry stem has about 1.3 to 0.378 ppm prunus pers persica which is the peach fruit it has 0.3 to 30 ppm of copper as well as curcus fellows which has and brassica olesera and many other such species which have copper inherent in them. Better dye fixing with common salt. Instead of using any chemical dye fixer, we can substitute that by using sodium chloride which is the common salt. Natural dyes are having poor exhaustion value due to subdued affinity for the fiber materials. So, to increase the exhaustion of dyes, common salt or global salt are added to the dye bath and that helps in better exhaustion of the dye. That means, there is good dye uptake. Salt is necessary in three ways. Firstly, to drive the dye into textile during the dyeing process in textile. Second, use of salt leads to maximum exhaustion of the dye molecules during dyeing, dyeing process in textiles. And thirdly, it is an electrolyte for migration, adsorption and fixation of the dye stuff to the cellulosic material. So, it plays three roles, not just one single role. And this is very important to understand that why are we using common salt as a dye fixer. Many places they say that they use, but they do not explain as to why they use it. And it has a threefold function. One is that it leads to maximum exhaustion 
Second is that it drives the dye molecules towards the textile and third is that it, it acts as an electrolyte and so it helps in adsorption and fixation of the dye stuff. Salt plays important role in natural dyeing by improving the affinity of the dye stuff towards the fiber and acceleration of dye stuff association and lowering the its solubility. Normally, global salt or common salt is used for this purpose. Catenization is another one very good procedure which is done for cotton. If you recall, I had told that cotton is the most challenging fiber or fabric which uh, takes natural dyes in a little difficult manner. And therefore, the surface activation by using catenization or by treating with tannic acid is a must. A novel approach towards the development of chemical free and sustainable textile dyeing process with minimum environmental risk cotton was catenized with 3 chloro, 2 hydroxy propyl trimethyl ammonium chloride in 4 concentration was carried out and con subsequently the it was dyed with black tea extract. Eco friendly colorant extraction from raw black tea leaves was carried out in aqueous medium avoiding use of any hazardous organic solvent. So, they have practice at every stage. The major coloring component in the black tea extract was polyphenols like theoflavins and theorubigins. Catenized cotton fabric were dyed in four different shades depth without employing any auxiliary chemical in the dyeing process. So, they have anyway already managed the chemical. For comparison, uncatenized cotton was dyed with the same extract to you know make comparison. It was observed that uncatenized cotton sample exhibited very low color strength that is K by S and excellent color fastness rating. However, the catenized sample showed remarkable enhancing enhancement in their color strength with an increasing concentration of the catenizing agent. Furthermore, the color fastness to washing, rubbing and perspiration were also excellent, but light fastness became a little poor. Deep shades were obtained for cotton sample catenized with 12, 20 gram per liter and dyed with 6 percent shade of the dye. Thus, the extraction of the natural colorants without toxic solvents, economically viable surface modification with the catenizing agent and chemical free dyeing rendered the dyeing process cleaner, sustainable and practicable at an industrial scale. Whatever processes are developed, if they can be scaled to industrial scale, then that is the final achievement. So, it was economically viable surface modification of cotton rendering an auxiliary free dyeing process which is sustainable and practicable even at industrial state. Improvement in natural dyeing industry by chemical management, improving chemical management in the natural dyeing industry involves implementing strategies to minimize environmental impact and ensure the safety of the workers. So, that is the main target substitution of hazardous chemical. Can we identify and replace hazardous chemicals with safer alternatives wherever possible? This may involve conducting research to find eco friendly substitutes for traditional chemical dyes used in the dyeing industry. Waste minimization, implement processes to minimize chemical waste generation. This can include optimizing dyeing processes to reduce the amount of chemical use as well as implementing recycling and reusing program for chemicals wherever feasible. 
So, can we minimize the waste and if we are using minimal chemical obviously, the waste also will be minimal. Water management, the way best way to do the chemical management is by managing the water, implement water conservation measures and wastewater treatment system to reduce environmental impact of chemical discharge. This may involve investing in treatment technologies such as biological treatment system or reverse osmosis. Training and education, provide training to workers on proper chemical handling procedures including safety protocols and waste management practices. Empowering employees with knowledge and awareness can only help prevent accident and minimize chemical exposure risk and their understanding for chemical management system needs to be regularly you know uh, updated. Regular monitoring and compliances, establish regular monitoring program to assess chemical usage, waste generation and environmental impact, ensure compliance with relevant, relevant regulations and standards governing chemical management in the dyeing industry and particularly in the natural dyeing industry. Using eco-friendly materials in minimum quantities, supplier engagement, work closely with chemical suppliers to source environmentally friendly chemicals and ensure transparency in chemical compositions. Encourage suppliers to provide safety data sheets and certificate for their products. Investment in technology, invest in innovative technologies such as eco-friendly dyeing equipment and automation system that can improve chemical management efficiency and reduce environmental impact. Certification and standard, seek certification such as GOTS which is Global Organic Textile Standard or OCO Text Standard 100 which set strict criteria for chemical use and environmental performance in the textile production. So, why if one is following these, then one is ensured that the chemical management system is in place. By innovation and improvement, there is a need for collaboration and industry initiatives. Participate in industry collaboration and initiatives aimed to promoting sustainable practices in the natural dyeing industry. Sharing best practices and collaborating with peers can help drive positive change across the industry. Continuous improvement, continuously evaluate and improve chemical management practices through regular audits, feedback, mechanisms and innovation. Embrace a culture of continuous improvement to stay abreast of advancement in sustainable chemical management system. It is not that once you have made certain rules that is it. Every time there are new methods, new technologies coming up where there is a need for the chemical management system to be updated. And so, con continuously this culture of improvement has to be adapted and practice for a sustainable chemical management system. Ways to implement chemical management system in the natural dyeing processes. Here are some of the specific examples of chemical management practices in the natural dyeing process. Selection of natural mordants. Mordants are chemical used to fix natural dyes to the fabric. Instead of using synthetic mordants, that can be harmful to the environment and human health, natural dyeing processes can utilize mordants derived from natural sources like alum, iron and tannin rich plant extracts or use bio mordants or use enzymes. pH adjustment with natural substances. In dyeing processes, pH adjustment is often necessary to achieve the desired color. 
instead of using synthetic chemicals like sodium carbonate or acetic acid, natural al alternatives like citric acid from citrus fruit or vinegar can be used to adjust pH levels. Because as you would understand that anything natural is still safer as compared to anything which is synthetically prepared. Natural dyes uh, extract, how in more ways we can adapt the chemical management system rather than utilizing synthetic dye powders or solution natural dyeing processes can utilize extracts obtained from plant sources. These extracts can be obtained through processes such as aqueous extraction or solvent extraction minimizing the need of synthetic chemicals. Biodegradable surfactant, surfactants are often used in dyeing processes to aid in the dispersion. Organic solvents, in case of other solvents, uh, wherever solvents are required, dye extraction should preferably be done on with water and if required with ethanol or ethyl acetate. Instead of using petroleum based solvents which are harmful to the environment. Enzyme treatments, wherever possible we can use implementing chemical management. By using enzymes in natural dyeing, we are eliminating many of these uh, chemical usage and these enzymes have been shown to show better dye penetration and color fastness. Enzyme derived from Natural sources such as plant extract and microbial cultures can replace the harsh chemical treatment. Water recycling and reuse. Implementing water recycling and reuse system can minimize the need of fresh water and reduce chemical discharge into the environment. Biodegradable finishing agent. Finishing agents are often applied to textile after dyeing to improve the properties such as softness and water repellency. Natural dyeing processes can utilize biodegradable finishing agents derived from renewable sources such as plant waxes or proteins minimizing the environmental impact. Chemical management system to be implemented at every stage. The aim is that to manage the chemical usage in an optimal manner so that there is least environmental burden caused by the wastewater generated from the natural dyeing industry. A conscious decision of decreasing the pollution load can help in a big way. Overall effectivity of chemical management. Overall effective chemical management in natural dyeing not only it reduces environmental impact and improves workers safety, but also enhances product quality, regulatory compliance, cost efficiency and stakeholders engagement. It aligns with the principles of sustainability and responsible manu manufacturing, positioning natural dyeing business for long term success in a competitive market landscape. Chemical management systems have been playing an important role in the overall development of textile technology. This management works on the basis of style and order according to the need of the buyer. If the chemical management process is managed by a skilled and experienced management board, it is easy for a textile company to see the face of success. Thanks to their tireless work, a safe and environmentally friendly chemical management environment is created by each and every big company. With this, we have come to an end of this lecture. Thank you.